This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Envato Elements. Hey everyone, what's going on? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this glass shattering title animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. So with that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and here I have a few assets of some images and some particle footages that I will be using for this tutorial. You can download this complete free project file with all the assets included. Link is in the description. So make sure you download it before you start creating this animation or start following this tutorial. So let's start by creating a new composition. Let's set this to 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Call this render as our main render comp. Press OK. Then create another new composition. Let's call this title or you can also call it text with the same exact properties. Press OK. Then select the text tool and type in the title that you want. I'm going to type in something like powerful and for the font i will be using a very interesting and one of my favorite that is the tactic font and i'll go with something maybe like a medium or let's actually go with this one yeah this looks much better let's duplicate this press ctrl d and let's put this below let's increase the size of this Let's type in something like powerful machine. There we go. Let's align this properly in the center. So I'm going to turn on the title action, save, align this, and then let's align this like so. Then select it, go into effects and presets and search for an effect called gradient ramp. I'll search for ramp and let's double click to apply this, swap the colors and let's pull this somewhere around here and pull this up like so just to add a little bit of nice gradient. To this it's looking very very nice i think all right let's hit ctrl c to copy it and paste it on our second text pull this below and let's pull this like so so we have this very nice look but let's take this one step further so what i'm going to do is select the text right click and go into layer style and let's add a bevel and emboss go into bevel and emboss and let's change the style from inner bevel to emboss and let's change the technique from smooth to chisel hard edge so we have this really nice look and that's all that we have to do i think let's bring down the size a little bit like maybe around three should be good yeah let's copy this layer style and paste it on the first text as well so now we have a little bit of more depth into our text now let's right click and create a new adjustment layer called this shatter. Go into effects and presets and search for the shatter effect. Let's drag and drop it. Let's change the view from wireframe to render or rendered. And now for preview this we have this nice shattering text. So first of all let's jump into the shape and change the pattern from bricks to glass now there are a lot of different presets and i highly recommend you guys to go ahead and play around with them to create a unique look but i'm going to go with glass and right off the bat if i preview this we get this really cool breaking glass effect which looks very very interesting so let's go right here and tweak some settings so i'm going to increase the repetitions to around 50 so we have much more breaking glasses or breaking pieces then go into the force one let's bring down the strength of this to minus 0.2 all right pretty nice then 
let's close them up and go into physics increase the randomness to 0.7 that should be nice okay let's play around with the gravity and increase this to around 8 or 8.5 should be good all right and let's change the gravity inclination to 90 so we have something like this looks pretty damn cool so this is what we have right now and it's looking quite nice i think so now let's go back to our main render comp and set up our complete scene so first of all let's go into the assets folder and drag and drop the background that i have here let's turn this into a 3d layer and right click create a new camera let's select a custom preset of 35 millimeters press ok then select this background hit p to bring down the position and let's push this back in the z space like so and then we can press s to bring down the scale properties and scale this up a little bit then press ctrl y to create a new solid make this black call this bg for background and press ok and put this below this background that we have now let's go ahead and add the title composition so let's add this one make sure to turn this into a 3d layer and now we have our text but we want to reverse the order of this animation so to do that let's go all the way right here when all the pieces are out of the frame and press ctrl shift d to split this up let's drag this forward and let's select this right click go into time and time reverse layer and now if you don't see the stretch option you can right click here go into columns and add this option here and let's set this to minus 40 press ok so now we have something like this and let's go at the very end frame so here and let's go at the very end right here press ctrl d to duplicate it right click and go into time and freeze frame and then i can place it right over here and i think we can delete this one so let's stretch this out all the way so now we have something like this looks pretty nice now let's give it a nice camera movement so what i'm going to do is select the camera hit p to bring down the position go at the very start let's zoom in like so all right create a keyframe go to around five or six seconds let's go to six seconds and zoom out like this somewhere around here should be fine all right and then select the camera layer again press r to bring down the rotation and let's rotate it a little bit like so create a keyframe go at the very start and let's rotate it like this so now we have something like this looking very nice now as you can see the background is getting cut or cropped from the edges so i'm going to increase the scale of this like so So that's looking very nice now select the camera hit u so we can see all the keyframes select them press f9 to ease ease them go into the graph editor right click and select edit speed graph and then i'm going to select first of all select the position select this point and drag this to the left like so select the orientation and drag this to the left as well so now when we preview this we have this nice and smooth animation now before we move to the next step let's quickly take a look at our today's sponsor envato elements download unlimited after effects templates logo reveals background music sound effects fonts stock footages templates mockups and more visit the first link in the description and download anything for free for seven days 
With that said, I also want to tell you guys about Envato Tute Plus YouTube channel. Everything here is entirely free of charge. You can find full courses on topics ranging from Photoshop and in design to After Effects and Premiere Pro, all the way to package designing. The channel gets updated with new content frequently, so make sure to keep checking in to see if there's something new and interesting for you to learn. To know more about them, check the link in the description below. All right, so far so good. Let's bring down the opacity of this texture a little bit. I think it's a bit too intense. All right, now we can go ahead and stack up some assets here. So first of all, let's drag and drop the particles footage and turn this into a 3D layer. Now, as you can see, it has a black background and turning this if I turn this layer into screen, which I can't because it's a 3D layer, we need to pre-comp it and then add it. So to get rid of that hassle, I'll select the layer, go into effects and presets and search for unmult preset. So unmult, it's, a, it's an inbuilt preset. So it's called the alpha from lightness unmult. So I'm going to drag and drop this on the particles and there we go. Let's select this, hit P to bring down the position and bring them closer to the camera like so. So we have some nice depth. Then select the glass line, drag and drop that as well. Then select the glass lines, drag and drop that on the top. Turn this into a 3D layer and add the same preset on this one. Hit P to bring down the position and bring this super close to our camera like so maybe something like there should be good and then go into effects and presets search for sharpen and add this let's set this to around 20 so if i preview this you can see it's looking very nice it adds a sense of depth into our scene which is looking very very cool then let's add this transparent tapes as well. So I'm going to turn this into a 3D again and again search for unmult. Add this here and turn this into a 3D, already 3D layer. Hit P to bring down the position. Let's bring this super close again. Hit S and bring down the scale a little bit like so. And I'm going to place it somewhere around here. And rotate it as well. Just a little bit just to add a bit more element in the background. Looks very, very cool. Let's duplicate this. Press Ctrl D. Hit R and rotate it into a different direction. Let's drag it into another position and let's hit P. This time I'm going to push this back like so and I'm going to place this one right here. And I'm doing this very roughly but you can of course take your time and um, you know play around with the look until you find the right one. And then finally let's add the broken glass texture, turn this into a 3D. Add the unmult effect, hit P for the position, bring that right here. Let's scale this down. You can get this kind of uh, images on free pick and it's super easy to search. You can just search for broken glass effect and you'll get this image. As you can see, it's looking very, very nice. Now let's select this, go into effects and presets and uh, search for curves effect. Double click to apply this and let's add a little bit of more contrast in this particular. No, there you go. All right. So there we go. It's looking very, very nice. Now let's do a very quick color correction on this. So I'm going to right click and create a new adjustment layer call this CC for color correction. First of all, let's go into effects and presets and search for um, photo filter. 
double click to apply that and let's select a cooling filter lbb let's set this to around 20 percent should be good yep and then search for a curves effect let's add a little bit of more contrast here as you can see now it looks pretty nice and finally let's add a little bit of sharpen on this off around maybe 15 or 10 should be good let's go 12. and now if i preview this you can see we have this very interesting looking title animation perfect for some documentary or some movie i think and also one more thing that you could do here is right now the particles doesn't have any kind of motion blur so to add this you can use the force motion blur which is inbuilt but it's quite heavy on the system and it renders very very slow or you can opt for this um, 3d plugin or uh, sorry this paid plugin that is the rsmb which, uh, which helps us to add some very nice motion blur and if you're a motion designer i highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out it's not sponsored by them i just genuinely use this plugin to add artificial motion blurs because it's super fast renders very quickly and adds this nice look so i highly recommend you guys to go ahead and check it out link is in the description again so there we go there we have our shattered glass title animation inside of after effects so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope that you learned something from this particular video so if you did make sure to let me know by clicking on that like button and comment down below also if you are new to after effects then make sure to check out my full-fledged after effects course with the name getting started with after effects link is in the description and if you purchase the course right now you get the 350 plus motion graphics pack absolutely free so make sure to head on to dopemotions.com the link is in the description and with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out